talk of the benches, today we're in the Lake District to take on another win right in the northwest, Melbrick. So we're just parked in front of this defibrillator here. Can I take that with us? <laughs> there we are, look, Melbrick up the top. Got this nice little church here and then Kirkstyle Inn in front of us. Definitely stop off there for a pint on the way back, I reckon. Above us, there we're going to walk along this lane. And I'm going to head towards, uh, I think it's at Kirk, Kirkhill Wood. Blackberries are out. Absolutely gorgeous day today. It's about 2 pm. You see any fish? There we have it, there. Look, Mel Break. It's where about Two miles from that's the north summit. The two main right summit is the south of it. There's the pub up behind us. I can see the pub from here. So I've watched a lot of other videos and people come through this little plantation here and they actually go, that's the north peak. They go up the screen, up the side of it. But uh, <laughs> yesterday, me being stupid training at the gym, managed to twinge me back. Yeah, I'm really not feeling kind of bent over climbing up straight today so it's gonna be a challenge just walking so I'm actually walking sideways on the minute. Which is a great look, a bigger crab. Lovely day the day but it's a little bit breezy. Especially when we get up on the top there it's gonna to be a bit windy. Just behind us there you've got fell barrow and no fell. Another two that we're gonna pick up. I think next time we stop at uh Keswick Meets Lodge Retreat we'll pick those up and you've got white side and grass more Obviously this is the one that we're climbing today. So we're just coming up to this little gate here and you've got a little bit of a pull up this gravel track. Mr. Salgal, how many have we done today? 61. Yeah, so I forgot to mention earlier. Uh, Luna, which is the little one in the front there. Bex was walking down the, the stairs last night doing a trip to go. She took a tumble. I reckon she's probably broke two toes as well. So she's got broken toes. I feel like I've got a broken back. I Happy days. You've got a broken bum. All right. <laughs> right, so we're through that little plantation now. And then we're just gonna crack on up this little sheep track. You can see up there where it splits you go up that scree up towards the uh, the north summit so to be fair we could probably do it but we started at about half one two o'clock the sun goes down about half seven now so we want to try and pick up skill force waterfall on the way back down <coughs> and uh don't want to get stuck in the dark like we did that time over at uh Mardell Ale Bill and, and High Street. Agent to do in that uh, horrible Arsenal top. <laughs> Sullen supporter, the one you made. Red and white through and through. Better not be Newcastle. <laughs> Me, your granddad, your brother, your uncle. Well, I'll fill you in if you say support Newcastle. Here we go behind us. Nose water. on the last video when we did Beta Fell. Got another sheep carcass here. <laughs> Cats are amongst us. I'm telling you. We're just following this little uh, grass track now alongside Melbury. And then we're going to come up and do the Southern Ridge, the true summit, 512 meters. That valley there, they're beautiful. So we're about a mile now from the summit. Just starting to hit this scree on the side. Come on, 
Pastis hätä. This is great. Now we'll over when the pass like this. Now you feel like you're on a mount. How are you now? There's me saying we're going to be avoiding the screen today. <laughs> Whew. This track's just kind of disappeared. Just made a cliffhanger here. I'll tell you what, the map I was following there totally took us just following sheep tracks. Looks like you're on the right track now, they put flipping eh? Right, we're officially on the top of Melbury. Not at the summit yet, but I'll tell you what, I don't know if it's because it's warm or what, but oh Jesus, blowing right out of my butt. There's the North Ridge. I finally see down the other side now. 0.2 miles to go, mate. Just stop for a minute in this breeze again, it's not. Oh. Less than a tenth of the mile now. Summit inside, guys. You can see that little iron pole. <laughs> the dogs are going to absolutely obliterate this, look. Just be careful. Looks like a bug of eternal sense, that. Careful, boo. Here we are, summit of Mel Break. 512 meters. High five, man. Oh, we're in right 61. Nice little view and point here. Look, I've put in here. Deep with bike, hair stacks in the distance. The Buttermere Valley has to be one of the best views in the Lake District. However, the camera and drone never do it justice. So, another Wainwright bagged. We have the Langdale Horseshoe plan next, which will tick off another four, taking us to 65. Please let us know your favourite Wainwrights in the comments. So that was a nice little stop off there at uh, the top of Mellow Break. We're going to head down now towards Putnamia in Scale Force. We not have time to pick scale force up the day though because it, uh, it started about half seven now so we don't want to get completely stuck in the dark. But uh, you never know, we may make it in good time. These views now guys, absolutely gorgeous. You had a good time? Yeah. yeah. And our way back out, right? So you see, can you see over there where the trees are? Yeah. That's where scale force is. Gonna head over there and see if we can get some footage, okay? Those views just get better and better and better. Absolutely gorgeous. So we're starting to go down now. One last little look over the water and put him here there. Lovely. Oh, I tell you, it's been proper sheepy coming back down. Proper hurdy gurdy. Me with me bad by next river, broken toes. At least the dogs obviously, but just pulled us from pillar to post, it's been a nightmare. <laughs> but hey, you all, man, when you get these views, you know what I mean, it's Saturday night. I missed the football this afternoon, I missed the derby, but I'd much rather be here, you know what I mean, with my family, doing something like this, taking in these views, the fresh air, class, man. Just over there in the distance, you've got skill for it. We're not going to pick it up this time because uh, by the time we get to the size of the Crummock water, walk back along the edge of it the way we started it's probably going to be about six o'clock so we'll leave us about an hour and hour and a half there uh, dear light so you can't see scale force there for the trees but we'll pick it up at some point that sun going down now though like i've said on previous videos definitely my favorite time of the day and that sun's just starting to get low look at that over there So we're almost at the edge of Crummock Water now and then we're going to follow the, uh, the shoreline back towards the, uh, the pub <laughs> and I think we'll have a, 
Well deserved, might not be any. So we didn't manage to pick up scale force on this occasion, however we did manage to launch the drone and get some good footage. We'll definitely be picking this up at some time in the future to make another video and do a spot of wild swimming. Bridge there takes up the scale force. Look at all the path up. We've come from up there. It's a nice little river here. Look, I didn't realize scale force when I looked when I launched the drone there. I thought it was just kind of like the one shoot coming down. It just goes further back and further back, and there's loads and loads of cascades. It looks class. Almost at the shoreline, I come aboard here. And then we're going to follow the shore all the way back. That's where we're being then. Now the break. Top of there, come all the way back round. About five, five and a half mile now. And the sun on the side of those mountains are absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? A lovely way to finish your walk, look at. There's a little island here, Judd. Now we're going to try and get on that. Maybe launch the drone again. Welcome back! Nice little gravel beach here, look at. Say to me, why do you always go to the Lake District? Okay, there you go. Look <laughs> how peaceful it is here. It's a nice place for a wild camp here, but we might be frowned upon. There we have it, just finishing off here at Lonely Crag. Just like a little island in the middle of Crummet Water, look at. That's where we've been. That's where we're headed back in the distance. Just make out the port where we start. What a perfect end to a great day. Please stay tuned for more content this month, including a day out in Northumberland, and it's our first wedding anniversary in October, so we'll be reviewing our stay at a luxury boutique hotel in the lakes. So, if you've watched this far, Thanks for your support and please take the time to like, comment and subscribe.